India is one of the fastest emerging economies of the world and India is trying to be self-sufficient in many sectors. Many global companies are trying to invest in India. In a recent event, the CEO of a famous audio brand, Boat, said that the Make in India initiative by the government has helped them become the second largest audio brand globally. Make in India was introduced to boost the domestic manufacturing sector. The impact of the Make in India campaign is huge. The economy of India definitely experiences effects and also left a huge imprint internationally. GDP of India have improved and many Indian companies are benefiting a lot. Today, we are going to discuss about 7 stocks which are benefiting from the Make in India program. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. Also, share my videos with your friends and family and anyone who might be interested. Also, check out my new video about best semiconductor stocks to buy now. So, let's get started. The first stock is from the defense sector. The government has identified defense and aerospace sector as a focus area for Admiral Bharat Initiative or Self-Reliant India Initiative. The Ministry of Defense has set a target of achieving a turnover of 1.75 lakh crore in aerospace and defense manufacturing by 2025, which includes exports of 35,000 crores. The industry get 5.95 lakh crore in budget in 2023-24, which is a jump of 13% over the previous year. This stock is the only listed drone manufacturing company in the country. There has been a big surge in the drone usage in the country and the drone companies touch 50 billion in investments in 2023. This stock is a leader with 50% market share in the drawn sector. The market cap of the stock is 2,949 crores. The stock I am talking about is Idea Forge Technology Limited. They are ranked 7th globally in the dual use category by Drawn Industry Insights. This stock's business profile is diverse, manufacturing unmanned aircraft vehicles tailored for mapping, security and surveillance. These drones boast a wide range of capabilities from mining area planning to mapping applications. The company's drones play a crucial role in boosting the operations for construction and real estate while also aiding defense forces in intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance operations along borders. With an in-house manufacturing facility in Navy Mumbai, spanning 21,000 square feet, Idea Force maintains the control over the entire production process, ensuring the quality and reliability. The revenue is primarily product-driven, with 95% coming from the sale of products in 2023. The company also generates income from services with civil and defense sectors contributing 21.5% and 65.9% respectively. The next stock is a game changer in the solar glass industry. This stock is a key player in the renewable energy sector. They specialize in manufacturing extra clear pattern glass and low iron solar glass for various applications, including photovoltaic panels, flat plate collectors and greenhouses. They are the sole producer of solar glass in India. Approximately 25% of this company's revenue comes from export. The majority of their international customers are based in Western Europe or Turkey. The market cap of the stock is 6,502 crores. The stock I'm talking about is Borosa Renewables. Over the past five years, Borosa Renewables has experienced remarkable growth, increasing its manufacturing capacity from 180 tons per day to an impressive 1,350 tons per day in 2023. Borosa Renewables signed a power purchase agreement with Renew Green private limited, ensuring a renewable power supply. This stock was in heavy demand after Prime Minister Narendra Modi announced the Pradhan Mantri Suryojana Yojana. Going forward, the company is expecting steady recovery as its German subsidiary starts operating at full capacity. It can manufacture 1000 tons of solar glass panels every day. It is aiming to add 1100 tons per day capacity by the end of 2025. The company is also looking to foray into the recycling business. The next stock is a company that has built and repaired some of the largest ships for its esteemed customers across the globe. The shipbuilding sector is set for a greater growth primarily due to the challenges faced by aging fleets. This company holds India's first greenfield shipbuilding yard and the only yard which can repair the air defense ships. Their clientele in domestic market include Indian Navy, Indian Coast Guard, Shipping Corporation of India Limited. This stock has given 265% returns in the past year. This stock has a market cap of 22,934 crores. The stock I'm talking about is Cochin Shipyard. So what makes this company stand out? Cochin Shipyard was in the limelight when Prime Minister Narendra Modi inaugurated 4,000 crore worth infrastructure projects in Kochi with the addition of a new dry dock and international ship repairing facility at a cost of around 2,800 crores. This stock is trying to achieve new heights. This stock is a leading player in construction of all kinds of vessels, repairs and refits of all type of vessels in including the periodic upgradation and life extension of ships. It has exported some 45 ships to various clients outside India. 
This company has built India's first hydrogen fuel cell ferry, which was recently launched virtually by Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The company has ship repair facilities at Kolkata, Andaman, Nicobar, and Mumbai. It has international ship repair facility at Kochi and has recently acquired Tepma Shipyard at Malpe. In the area of ship repair, the global market is estimated to be 20 million, but India's share is about only 1%, so the future potential of the stock is immense. The next stock is an electronics manufacturing company. This stock has been leading the electronic manufacturing service space in India. This stock is behind some of the India's most innovative consumer durables, lighting and mobile phone solutions. This company is a market leader and a key player in India's manufacturing landscape. The market cap of the stock is 44,752 crores. The stock I'm talking about is Dixon Technologies. With the focus on manufacturing electronic components and leveraging the government incentives, Dixon is all set to capitalize on the semiconductor boom. This company operates across various segments from LED TVs to mobile phones, lighting products and even medical equipment. Their extensive range covers everything from consumer electronics to security system. So Dixon Technologies is India's largest homegrown design-focused solutions company. Dixon Technologies has recently invested in its subsidiary, Padgett Electronics, which recently opened a large smartphone factory in northern India and began producing Xiaomi smartphones. Dixon has 17 manufacturing units in India. The company's subsidiary, Padgett Electronics, has won a contract from Lenovo to manufacture its laptops and notebooks under the IT Hardware Protection Linked Incentive 2.0 scheme. There are news reports that suggest that Google might be in talks with Dixon for manufacturing smartphones as well. This company's Made in India phones are being used not only to cater to domestic markets, but globally as well. This is a big development for the company and the country. The next stock is a key player in the aerospace industry. This stock is primarily engaged in the manufacture of aircraft and helicopters along with their repair and maintenance. This stock is also at the forefront of India's defense program. This stock holds a strategic position in India's defense program as the only Indian company specializing in aircraft manufacturing and providing maintenance and related services. The market cap of the stock is 2,22,518 crores. The stock I'm talking about is Hindustan Aeronautics. Hindustan Aeronautics is a PSU stock and they are the largest aerospace and defense manufacturer in the world. The company develops, designs, manufactures and supplies aircraft, helicopters, avionics and communication equipments for military and civil markets. Almost 80% of the fleet of the defense forces is either supplied by Hindustan Aeronautics or service and supported by Hindustan Aeronautics. This company is popularly known for manufacturing Tejas fighter jets. The Prime Minister has been pushing for indigenous production of defense products and has set an ambitious target for $5 billion in defense exports by 2024-25. In recent news, Hindustan Aeronautics has signed a contract to manufacture light combat aircraft for 5,077 crores. The company currently has an order book of 81,784 crores. This stock has a heavy dependence on Ministry of Defense for contracts. They also build aerostructures for Indian Space Research Organization and global origin equipment manufacturers like Airbus and Boeing. Analysts have given an 80% buy rating for the stock. The next stock is a leader in India's digital mapping landscape. They have mapped nearly 18 million locations in the country, 6 million kilometers of roads and captured nearly 15 million addresses. This company competes with Google Maps in India. A significant portion of the company's revenue comes from providing mapping services to other businesses such as Apple, Mahindra, BMW, Amazon and among others. Indian government has announced a new geospatial policy that seeks to promote Indian companies and restricting foreign players in the country, which will be a big boost to the stock. The market cap of the stock is 10,058 crores. The stock I'm talking about is Mapma India. So what makes this company stand out? Mapma India specializes in data and technology products. Being an early mover in India's digital mapping, Mapma India has become the go-to provider for advanced digital map, geospatial software and location-based IoT technologies. The majority of their business, about 60% comes from map and data products. Mapma India offers real-time 2D and 3D maps covering not just India but also countries like Sri Lanka, Bangladesh, Nepal, Bhutan, Myanmar, UAE and Egypt. These maps include live traffic updates, safety alarms, and changes in road conditions. Mapma India's digital maps covers an impressive 6.5 million kilometers of roads in India, representing over 99% of the country's road network. When it comes to customers, Mapma India primarily serves three major categories, corporate, automotive, and government. The revenue model is built around subscription fees, royalties, and annualities, contributing to 84% of their revenue. Mapma India has earned its stripes with an impressive clientele, including a giants like PhonePay, Flipkart, Yulu, HDFC Bank, Airtel and Hyundai. For Mapma India, their revenue heavily depends on the automotive sector, contributing to 54%.
Additionally, their top 54 customers account for a substantial 80% of their revenue. The next stock is a leading precision engineering solutions company. This company is engaged in the manufacture of mission critical precision components. They serve projects of high national importance. This stock primarily serves customers in the clean energy, nuclear and space and defense sectors. The company currently operates through seven manufacturing facilities. These facilities are located near major defense organizations. The company's noteworthy projects include providing engines for PSLV C-25, which launched the Mars Orbiter Mission spacecraft and being integral to GSLV Mark III engine for the Chandrayaan-2 mission. The market cap of the stock is 5,179 crores. The stock I'm talking about is MTR Technologies. Over the years, it has made investment in processor infrastructure and systems and has specialized training to its technical team to become a leading player in nuclear and space and defense sectors.